Hey, what's up you guys? Quick word. Thank you, first of all, for watching this video. Thank you for the, you know, incredible support that you've given me over the years. It doesn't matter if you've watched one video or you've watched a hundred or you've watched a thousand because there is almost two thousand videos on this channel. Thank you so much. The time has come. The time has come for me to create a reaction based channel. I asked you guys the question. Over 80% of you said you would be interested in that. So I've decided to take the, the, the leap of faith and um, create a brand new channel. Zero subscribers, zero views. This will be, this video you're watching right now will be one of probably the last five or six reaction videos you will ever see on this channel based around the Rugby Player Reacts title. I'm officially retiring my series titled Rugby Player Reacts. In the future, I will be putting all of my reaction videos on my second channel, Jake Reacts. I wish you all the best. I hope that I'll see you there. If you do want to subscribe, please do. The link is in the description box below. Like I said, this is going to be one of the, the last reaction videos you'll see on this channel. I'm going to put my heart and soul into this new one and I'd absolutely love your support. If you enjoy my videos, I know you'll enjoy these ones. I'm in Rockhampton now. This is my new environment. You'll see all of that plus more on my new channel, Jake Reacts. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the video. Right, guys, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. Today's video is interesting. We're looking at a local, um, a young local. In fact, the video is titled Kiwi NFL Hopeful Recruited by a Prestigious College ne Despite Never Having Played a Game in the US. His name is Iremia Moore, um, and he's donning the UC Berkeley gear next year after having had three top schools chasing him. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict that this guy's playing as a lineman. I've not heard of any running backs, I've not heard of any wide receivers come from New Zealand into college football. But you might have, and maybe we will hear about them today. So it was only right that we do this, um, being that I am a, a huge fan of American football, and I am a Kiwi, so let's get into it. It goes without saying, American football is huge in the United States. Next Monday's Super Bowl will attest to that. And in some parts of the US, college football is the number one game, even bigger than the NFL. And next season, Edomir Moore will be part of what is of what is remarkable is that he has only uh, what is that he has only played what he describes as club football here before he headed to the US and hasn't even played a proper game over there. Yet he had top three top universities chasing him. Well, he butchered that, but it's all good. All the universities were offering full scholarships. The universities, UCLA, the University of California, Berkeley, and Duke. Yesterday, Edomir made his pick. He joins us now from Los Angeles. Morena, Edomir, thank you so much for joining us. Morena. Morena. What did you pick? Where are you? That means good morning. Well, um, I decided to go to California, Berkeley. Amazing. Nice work, brother. Congratulations. How does that feel? Man, it's amazing. It's a lot of relief off of my shoulders from the recruitment process and, you know, I'm just blessed to be in this position. This is a crazy story, right? So you grew, you grew up here in New Zealand. Where did you grow up? Tell us about your life here in New Zealand. Um, I grew up, you know, I'm, I'm always going to say I'm from Porirua. That's where my family's from. That's my roots, Candace Creek. And um, I grew up in Hamilton from five until 16. And then I moved out here in September in 2019. And what made you move to the US? Because it wasn't like grid on uh, American football was a massive part of your life here in New Zealand, was it? No, sir. I, I just um, played football in, in Hamilton for a little bit and I thought it was really fun. And I wonder what I, position I he is. Camp and I was just blessed with the opportunity. And I wonder how so big he is. The high school out here and it was very prestigious. And, um, you know, I, I just wanted to take the big shot and Give it a crack. Okay, so he went to I high school but the, um, in his final year. Things are a little bit crazy over in the US, right? Because when you go over there, you, you moved over without your family, which means you weren't actually able to play. There's some rules around it, right? Yes, sir. So because I was an international student, I had to sit out for uh, 365 days before I could actually play my official first game. Um, but due to COVID, the 365 days. Oh my God, you can hear his accent changing. <laughs> Couple more years, mate, you'll be a full-blown American. So it was nullified and 
I couldn't even play then because now we still haven't had our season. So, Enemia, without playing any games for two years, how do you have three US colleges chasing you to play for them? Well, I just say that that's all God's work, and you know, I'm very blessed to be in this position by just working hard, working my butt every day, and just staying dedicated, not only on the field and athletically, but you know, I've got to stay focused academically as well. And I've just been very lucky to go to such a prestigious school, and they have really good. So he's a DN school, and I've gone to as many camps as I can, and hopefully try to show that I have a lot of talent, even without playing. What made you choose University of California? I decided to pick UC Berkeley because you know I had a great I had a great relationship with the coach. Um, the academics is off the chart, and you see that step relationship with the coach. Um, the academics <laughs> is off the chart, and the football there is is amazing too. I get to play in the Pac-12, which is one of the the biggest conferences in the country, and not only that. But I have so much positional versatility, so I get to move around in the field, and I love that about that. And I'm super excited for the future. Yeah, but how far can you take this? Like, what's your what's your hope? What's your dream? My dream is to make it into the NFL, and not only make it into the NFL, but I want to be a Hall of Fame. I love that. You've got to aim high, right? I love that. So you got you got a you got a game plan. You're gonna work hard, right? Sure. <laughs> and uh, how important has your family been? Your whanau must have been huge, right? And they must be backing you all the way. Yes, sir, it was, it was uh, you know, it was tough at some points, especially with COVID. Um, recruiting was hard and I didn't know if I was going to get there. But, you know, with God's work and with my family, I've just been blessed to be able to, you know, have a, a big um, support and uh, for my back and just from people backing me and you know my mom has always been there for me and I, I just I love my family for that they've always been there unconditionally and that's the most important thing hey Enemia you now have the entire country behind you and people who have never ever paid any attention to college football I think are going to be all of a sudden going out and buying University of California merch they're going to be backing you all the way brother <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, good luck. Uh, we're going to be following you, all right? We're going to we're going to keep checking in with you. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Amazing. <laughs> hey, good luck. All the best. Study hard. Play hard. Uh, yeah, we wish you all the best. That is Edomir Moore, uh, a new University of California football recruit. What a great story. What a great story. He, he, <clears throat> look, he butchered up the start. I'm not going to lie. But uh, he got it there in the end, and Check. that man, that man has some some real uh, manners about him. He's polite. He's sounds like he's certainly humble. Um, I believe I do believe that he's he's learnt to say sir in America at the high school that he went to, and um, it, it it only you know adds to uh, you know what I love about a, a big guy like that is being able to speak with such. Um, you know, politeness, really. He's what I'd consider a gentle giant, although I don't even know how big he is. He looked undersized for his position. And as he, as he suggested, at the college that he's going to, they're gonna, you know, he does have versatility. They're gonna use him across the field. In fact, they might even have him at linebacker. And that, my friends, is exciting. Anyways, um, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you can get behind our man, Itamiya Moore. And I certainly will be, so. For all you UC Berkeley fans out there, please let me know down in the comment section below. This is exciting for me, it's exciting for you, and it's exciting for the world of college football. If they can play this year, fingers crossed. Anyways, um, in the next one, we're actually going back to some, some running, and we're gonna go to the 200 meter final at the 2021 SEC Indoor Track and Field Championships. Now that is a college uh, meet, and I believe we've got none other than our man, Matthew Bowling, in this. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And peace out.